downloaded the file of the HTML from the email. Now it is time to run the next flow, it underscore one, that will process the HTML into the respective CSVs, and then after that proceed to create the filters. Okay, so now some of the best practices is if you are running this for second time, make sure you do delete all the old CSV file because there's a chance that they might conflict with the new data that might be appended into the files. So normally I will suggest removing it. Um, and sometimes in Tech UI there could be all these legacy uh, Java icons. Make sure you close it because sometimes it, it utilizes the engines and then it doesn't close, the, doesn't kill the processes correctly. So you need to close it manually if, if it happens to be alive. Next thing I will go through is I will talk about the script. So this in this eight underscore one, it will first ask for the date of the process so that the user only need to key in something like this, the date, date, month, month, and year, 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 year uh, format. And then it will ask this in a the prompt. Then the, the user will have to key it in. And then after that, I will do a series of uh, manipulation to find out the file name as well as uh, manipulate the hyphen into an underscore. And I will also do a conversion automatically because of the difference in the file naming convention. One uses numbers and the actual file that is used in the Woga sentiment is actually in the alphabets. So this is a Java function block that converts the uh, numbers into the appropriate short name for the month. So the, the function is here. Then I will do a D click, double click about this image. This image needs to be using this command to snap it on your own machine. So in Tech UI Live, you can use this command to generate your own about blank using uh, Tech UI snap to capture this particular image. Later, I will show you what it means. Then it will proceed to key in. You will try to clear and then key in the temp, which is this whole string, plus the special month in this uh, format and then uh, it will click enter then it will follow by clicking on the export to this particular uh, you it, it will click on this particular name on the interface of this web page and then you will click on all services then there's a wait because i need to wait for the file to be created then i will load the file.csv into body underscore one this is because i want to convert the existing downloaded csv to a variable called body one because I want to eventually store it as a separate file for ease of maintenance and reading up. So this dump actually creates an item in the CSV with the header. Okay, with the header. And then I will write the body, which is previously here, into this particular CSV file. So in other words, I have created my own uh, CSV underscore one file. So it, I can reference it for, for file checking because the issue with the with this particular file is that it actually download and then it will overwrite the file name so this step is necessary for ease of finding out the data later on then it will click on the second tab and then it will click on all this and then likewise i'll do the same thing for the second underscore two then i will write body underscore one to this and, and so forth this is to repopulate back the body one and body two to the same file name csv because i have uh, I, I want to make sure that it is the full file with both tabs the tab for rating four and below and then rating five and higher because of how the html is arranged then i'll do a series of uh, manipulation to detect the file length from the x so on the csv which is it will use excel to open up then I'll detect the length. This is necessary to make sure that you don't have to manually go and manipulate the length of the loop. This is a JavaScript block which you don't have to worry. It's basically converting the data to an array. These are to this is the, the function to convert. So pending full, pending underscore one and underscore two. These are the variables that I declare. So this is for the full full, you can call it the full data. This is for the one, this is for the two. Then you'll go through a loop. Okay, I think these are not necessarily to explain because you don't have to you don't have to usually you don't have to touch any of this data. Then after that I will do this for the full file, which is a legacy file which I just reproduced, but I will not be sending out emails using it. I will instead use the underscore one 
to send out because the the first file is uh, correctly arranged in the old format which is email name and then so on but in the other download the originally in the html um, the woga file the woga html already rearranged their data in the in the wrong sequence from the earlier file so it's better to then do it this way then i, I generate a second file underscore two then i will send out the email accordingly to another uh, headers lah, so that the, the, the data will make sense when it reaches the vendor site so again this is to check if the email is equal to nothing name nothing because the idea is if there are no items being filled in any of this just as long as one of it is empty then we will not send this email to the vendor instead if there, if there are all four all four of these are with something then it will write it to the new filtered file which is the same process uh, so I will generally I will generate this two underscore one and underscore two two these two separate file will then be sent out in the new eight underscore two file eight underscore one and let's see how does it work so first you will launch the browser it will ask you to insert the the, the details so the file I want to process is twenty four hyphen o seven and then I'll click OK. So after I click OK, this is what it's doing. It's asking for the, it's asking for the result of the data that it needs to be processed. Once you click OK, it will automatically pre-populate the file to be reconstructed over here. So let's see, and then it will also click on the icon. Where's the icon? Icon. Ah, you will double click on this, this thing called the about blank. Okay, let's see. So as it's running, do not touch the, the screen or it might interrupt the flow. Okay, now you will click on the export to CSV. You will click on all services and then you will download the first CSV for the rating file and above. Then after that, you will continue to do for the second file. Okay, then now it will process, it will launch the, the respective files because I'm, I'm using these excels to to detect the, the amount of loop to do so it's reading the length of the of the column A then after that it reads the data it will run through all the data and if it fulfills the requirement then it will write into that new file if not it will skip so this is what it's doing. Uh, just close this unnecessary. Then it will skip, skip, skip. Let me see if I can bring out this side of the screen for you. So now in this particular part of the flow, it's actually running uh, one of this that is over here. So probably it has gone some time. It is probably doing this now. Okay, so it will check through the email and all that. Or oh, it has ended. So in other words, it was running the second file. Now let's look at the, the data. Uh, whether we can see the data. So in this data, you can see now that this is the downloaded CSV. The downloaded CSV. I, I combined it back into one giant file. So it has all the six ratings, five ratings. And at the bottom, it should be the the below force. Okay, I don't think there should be anything else. Okay, correct. Then, uh, then after that, this is the just the rating files alone. The rating files. Okay, and then this one should be just the rating force and, and below. Okay, correct. Then eventually, the filtered will be just the, the data with all this fill up and then the lastly this is with all the ratings for and below with all the data inside so this these two files will be then uh, processed in the next eight underscore two to send out the emails 